here. Which is a little bit on the deep end, but it's cool. Let's see, push it up a little incline, full power. Alright guys, I have the SEX24 Jeep Wrangler plugged in on the stock battery. So I'm just going to open this up really quick so you can see. You can see I have the Spectrum 2-cell 350 milliamp hour battery pack plugged into the board. We are actually at this little hiking trail that we found. And I actually did bring a plane with me too to fly while we're here. So I'm just going to put this pin back. One thing I do want to mention, which is really helpful, they added this little tag to the end of the pin, and this makes it tremendously easier to access the uh, the inside because normally on a car you don't get any tag or any handle. You just have to pull the pin out yourself, and that can that can hurt your fingers a little bit, and also it's just hard to pull out. So, adding this is very very small, but it's it's extremely extremely helpful. So I have the Spectrum SLT2 ready, ready to run transmitter uh, already bound to it. So you can see I have full power and I have my steering. So this is a really nice little spot to test out a crawler. So let's just go for it. Um, I'm gonna put my power setting. I'm gonna cycle it to 75 and let's go. It's so cute. So obviously it's a 124 scale crawler, so this is gonna be probably the slowest video that I've made. But, oops. There's a little patch of rocks over here, so I'm gonna go explore. Nice. Shaking. Shaking. This is really, really neat. Let me see. I'm going to put the power at 100. And obviously you can't really tell a difference from first glance because it's pretty pretty slow but let me see let's go exploring here that water was deeper than i anticipated but it's good nice it's so cute Can I go above this? Oh, that's a really, really deep water for this thing. Doesn't look like deep water, but let's see. Let's go around here. Nice. All right. The suspension feels pretty good. shocks feel really nice Let's travel over here see if I can go down without flipping that's a no <laughs> this is really cool it's definitely a change of pace from what I've used to record on this channel or what I'm used to recording on this show, sorry. This is really neat though. Oh, I like that patch a lot. Holy go. This 
is actually really, really cool. I wonder if I can get up this little rock. What's tracking? Uh, this leaf. No. <laughs> it was able to get up it though, but the leaf is in the way. water is way deep so I don't think I'm gonna be able to get through this but I'm just gonna circle back around I do apologize if the it gets kind of noisy uh, the trail that we're at is actually right next to a private airport, so. I'm only really pushing it at like half throttle. See if I can climb up this. That's not even a challenge. Slowly push it out. No, we have great assistance from the cameraman today. Gonna go back to this little patch here. See how it does over here. It's able to get up. That is awesome. Let's go around this patch. <laughs> Little rock there. There's a good amount of rocks here. Maybe let's try going this way. We can climb over. All right. For those, I have to push to 100% power. This is some pretty cool terrain, though, for this little car. I haven't had any issues yet.
and it's just overall a really really cute model I think the lights on it are absolutely fantastic. All right, let's go a bit further. Over here is also a nice spot. around here there's a little bit on the deep end but it's cool Let's see push it up this little incline full power nice now I did study the transmitter and I'm just gonna stop here for a second steering rates so I think I'm on max steering but if I put it at the let's put it in the middle so you can see there is now an understeer so there is rates it's uh it's labeled SR I, I would think it would be called DR for dual rates but you know so I've been driving on the max and it seems to be pretty happy for what I'm doing right now take it around again push it up how awesome is that now there's a little path that looks like it was made just for it. Let's see if I can get down without flipping myself over. <laughs> yeah, this is really, really great fun. I can see myself I go hiking a lot with my family and I can see this being something that I can just bring on the fly or on the go for this. Some nice rocks. I was not paying attention. There we go. I'm gonna get up this. I have to back out and go through this path. Here, I have an idea. No, I might need some assistance. <laughs> oh, I can't even reverse anymore. There we go. Bring it back. 
I don't know how long the battery life on this thing is, so. Let's bring it back. And it works. It's, it's a little wet now. <laughs> All right, but that was my maiden drive. Should I say that? First drive for the uh, SCX24 Jeep Wrangler. And this is a very, very neat model. Um, I don't have much experience with cars, so I apologize if this video was a little bit awkward. But um, I had a lot, a lot of fun with this little car. Um, driving it around felt really nice. I have this really nice little area to test uh, the suspension on this thing. And it feels really great. It's obviously a super cute model. I love the body that they put on this car and I also really appreciate the lights that they added to it. I think it just makes it 10 times cuter and in nighttime or at nighttime it's going to be a lot better too. So yeah, um, I was able to test it in the water. Uh, the water even though this is like really really shallow water, this thing is so tiny that it looks deep in it and I um, it was like almost fully submerged i was worried that i was going to get the battery uh submerged in the water too so i didn't try my luck too much but i was able to go around the water i was able to climb around the rocks i think this was a really nice place to um climb around the rocks i did get some experience in because i didn't really know what i was going uh what i was getting into when i got a crawler because i fly planes and helicopters so you know this is definitely uh a lot calmer and it's uh, a lot slower paced than what I normally do but yeah for $120 I think this is a great buy um, it's really really nice looking it drives really well and it's just an awesome model so that's it thanks for tuning to John's RC and for new to this channel for the like comment and subscribe bye guys I'll see you in the next one hey guys John here and welcome back to John's RC and today I'm doing something a little different Today, uh, we have a car. Now, um, this is the first time that I'm going to be featuring a car on this channel. Big shocker. But uh, I have been dabbling into uh, RC cars myself. I have a couple bashers and some street cars, and we are all going to be doing, or go I'm going to be doing videos on all of them. So uh, stay tuned for that. But uh, to start off, we are going to be doing something rather small. This is actually brand new. This is the actual SCX24 Jeep Wrangler. It just came out. It was on pre-order for a little bit and now it's released. So yeah, I actually have never opened this box before. So I'm going to be doing a blind box opening on camera. And yeah, so it's a ready to run package. That means it should come with everything uh, to get this up and running. So that means the car, of course, your transmitter, your battery, and the charger. I'm not entirely sure whether it does come with the AA batteries or AAA, I'm not sure what it uses, or just the batteries uh, to power the transmitter. So I do have uh, some in the case that it doesn't come with transmitter batteries. So yeah. I have a box cutter just to open this up and I also have cutting pliers because it looks like they did zip tie the car down to the box. Let's lift this up, if it can lift up, come on, there we go. Okay, so just to see, this is what it looks like when you first open the box. And think this is just going to lift up. There we go. Sorry. Okay. So, yeah, the car is zip tied down. So I have some cutting pliers. And I'm just going to quickly cut this. Sorry, you won't be able to see this part. Just trim it down. And, yeah. All right, cool. So this is the Jeep itself. It is very, very nice looking. This is uh, licensed, so it's going to be probably one of the best uh, looking cars for a Jeep Wrangler of this class. I think it's really cute for a 124th uh, size scale model. And you can see here, it looks awesome. It does come in a greenish color too. I think it's dark green. Yeah, you can see uh, the back of the box too. And I think, the, in my opinion, I think the gray just looked better. So we got the gray. 
So, oh, uh, everything else you have, oh, it does come with AA batteries. Uh, we have the manual and this should be the part with the transmitter. Not this one, this one. Okay, so you have your USB charger is using the PH 2.0 and this just plugs into USB ports, so your laptop or any USB hub, anything. And finally, there we go. So I'm just gonna set these down so we can focus on what's on the table. So all of this, let's get the transfer out. Sorry about this. And then I'll just put these on the ground for now. Okay, <laughs> so let's see. This is the Spectrum SLT2 uh, ready to run transmitter. This comes in like ready to run packages. And you can see here, you have your trim on the side here. I'm not sure what this is for. You have, I think this is your throttle trim and this is your steering trim. I'm not entirely sure, we'll test it out on the table. You have the steering. The ergonomics are actually kind of nice, I think. I mean, it is plastic and it does feel a little bit on the cheaper ends, but I mean, in terms of ergonomics, I mean, it feels good in the hand and I mean, it works. So let's see what else we have. Let's open up the car. So I have the, I think it's only got one pin because I think this just lifts up. Yeah, so you can see here, uh, the battery just comes in the car. It's already pre-installed. So it's strapped on with the Velcro. So let's just take it out so I can show you guys. All right, so this is a Spectrum 2 cell 350 milliamp hour battery pack, 7.4 volts, and it's a 30C discharge rate. I did get a bit of spares for uh, this car. Uh, this is what the box looks like for it. Uh, we do have to buy these separately. This does not come with a car, obviously. So we bought a couple of spares uh, just so we can just keep this running when we do do the drive video. So you can see here, we have the Spectrum 2-in-1 uh, receiver and ESC board. Uh, this is using the SLT2 protocol and frequency. I'm not entirely sure why Spectrum is using the SLT protocol or the dual spectrum SLT. Um, I saw this also with the, this is entirely unrelated, but I saw this with the uh, the new uh, Stoll Apprentice or that little micro plane that they came out with. So if you know anything about that, please let me know in the comments because I'm actually curious why they added the SLT protocol. Maybe they bought it, I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, so this is what the chassis looks like. Uh, it's really, really nice. It's of course very tiny. Um, it is kind of weird how this just lifts up instead of just entirely de detaching from the car, but it's it's fine. So we have the new oil filled shock. So you have this really nice suspension. And of course, when you're gonna be over like rough terrain or just anything in general, you're gonna have some pretty nice suspension or it's supposed to at least. And um, let's see. So, you know, I'm not a genius when it comes to cars. This is the first time I'm doing a car video. So I, I might sound a little silly here. I might, uh, you know, you have your servo. It's the, it's this tiny little servo and you can see right here, it's tiny and yeah, it's a AS1. So yeah, um, I'm going to actually just install the batteries for the transmitter. Uh, All right, guys, had to cut the video for a second. It took me a second to uh, figure out how to get the batteries properly installed. Uh, they didn't really have an indication physically on the transmitter to show which way was positive and which way was negative. It was the manual, which I had to open to um, show which way the batteries go. So silly me, should have opened the manual. But um, while I opened this, it also showed that there's, um, you have a couple of extra parts and you have a little uh, wrench and you have some extra parts in the note back here. I'm now with these parts, I'm not entirely sure where they go to, but we have extra parts. So uh, there, see here, now we have a red light 
And this battery that came with the car is not charged, but I want to see if it actually goes. So we're going to just run it anyway. Okay, so just put this into here. There we go, it's a tight fit. And then you have your on switch here. Aha! Okay, so let's put the little case on for a second. And you can see we have full steering. This looks reversed actually. Um, interesting, but yeah, for some reason this is reversed. Uh, oh, I set the steering to reverse when I was opening the transmitter. So you see we have our left, your right, you have your uh, reverse. And this is your throttle limiter. Um, so I have it on 50 right now, but you can cycle between 50, 75, and 100, depending on what you need and what terrain, you know. So, so you can see the motor does get a little faster when you go to um, your 100%. So that's cool. Now this isn't a charged battery, so I don't want to overrun it. So I'll turn it off and unplug it for now. But cool. So this is a little brush motor, I mean it's a crawler, it's 124th scale to be exact. So you have your brush DSC of course, but you have your, over here, an 88 tooth um, brush motor, and it's from Dynamite. And it's, it's really really tiny, but I mean I guess it'll get the job done. So yeah, I that's pretty much all I have to say about this model, so now let's get these batteries charge up and let's drive.